What does two million pounds buy you? Well, it basically buys you new technology if you're a central government and uh, want your mint to make coins that are impossible, per se, to counterfeit. That's what's going on now in England, where they have the new one pound coin that will be coming out sometime between 2015 and 2017 that has special technology developed by the mint in South Wales that has this 12-sided new one pound coin to be virtually counterfeit proof. The new technology nicknamed ISIS, Integrated Security Identification Systems, has been in development for as much as 20 years. Uh, but uh, the coin itself won't be released for a couple more. The new coin is said to combat counterfeits, but actually, as I've been saying on this channel and in private for years, it has a lot more to do with the control of money. Even though most money is traded between banks, other financial institutes, and markets in the form of digital credits, and very little of it actually hits the street, they still want to have control not only of the creation of money, which most uh, central banks have had around the world for years, but also the control of the flow of money to the peasants. Who has the money? Who is spending it? Who is not being taxed? This is uh, what uh, is going on now worldwide. So we have a rhetoric out of the Telegraph that says that the problem is that it's counterfeit coins and we have to combat it, but like I've said before, if you're paying taxes, you're a slave. If you don't know you're a slave, then you're a slave. Uh, if you have a social security number, if you have an ID number, if you carry cash at all, then basically you're a slave in their eyes. Ever notice why the Prince of Wales doesn't carry cash and doesn't have an ID number? Because he's not a slave. He's part of the master and commanders of this whole system that is top down. So, uh, whether it's RFID chips or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, there are many other ways that they can use money to track us and to control the flow of money, even if the money on the street is petty in comparison to all of the derivatives, credit default swaps, and other financial instruments that are used to suck value out of economies of the world. So. Um, look forward to 12-sided coins and RFID chipped money and then eventually of course no paper money or coins at all and then that's when you know that they've really got you because you're on a, a digital credit system and the next step of course is to be chipped uh, call me crazy laugh at me but um, the, the proof is there they spent two million pounds developing a 12-sided coin that they say combats counterfeits when only two to three percent of all coins in the small market of uh, the British Isles are counterfeited. Now you think about it, around the world, right? Dollar is king. That's the world reserve currency. They should be concerned, of course, about counterfeits of the U.S. dollar, but when we're, we're talking about the pound sterling and uh, taking these steps to make sure that the one pound coin isn't counterfeited, you know that it's not about counterfeiting. So watch yourselves.